Good evening, everybody. Thank you for stopping by Healing Conversations with Z. I know I haven't been on in a while. I broke the big tripod. I'm looking at it. It's jacked up. And so I had to go to Divine Masculines to get this little three-legged one. Um, the reading is going to be a little bit different than what I would normally do, especially because of the, the shortness of this little three-legged thing. Um, but I would like to say Happy Father's Day to all the daddies. Um, and even though, you know, we're feminines, we do have a masculine side. So for the women who are using their masculine side aspects to help raise their little babies, Happy Daddy's Day to you as well. Um, I'm doing something different also because of the solstice. I have been really, 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 I've been sleeping all day. Laying around. Relaxing. Not doing anything. That's why I'm kind of looking in the mirror, looking in, <laughs> looking in the screen because it's like, oh, this is what I look like? Yeah, this is what I look like, the unfiltered look. Um, it's been a lot of dark energy. I've been purging a lot. And so I pulled out my dark cards. Let me see. Which I pulled out the hoodoo. Yeah, we're going to mess with them. Um, the wild unknown. I like this deck, but it's scary. The um, beautiful creatures. And what else? It's one more. Dark mirror. Is it upside down? Yep. Dark mirror. I don't have the book for dark mirror, so when I look at the pictures, it's all intuitive. I don't know where that book is. Somebody moved. The book disappeared. Normally, I put, when I'm done with my cards, I put everything back in this box where it's supposed to be, but that one didn't go back. So, they must not want me to really know what's going on, but it is what it is. We're going to still work it out. I've already pre-shuffled the cards, but I'm going to, um, let me, before we even get into that, um, I want to say a prayer of protection because, like I said, it's been a lot of dark energy. I've been feeling it. And so I'm asking for um, whoever comes to this space. This is a safe place. But I'm asking for the divine to protect who all comes to this space. I want the divine. I'm asking the divine to remove any person, place, thing, entity, spirit, whatever. Whatever it is that's not of the light, it's got to go. Go from whence to where you've come. Um, I want to ask for protect. I want the ancestors to come because I know that you watch over us. Even the ancestors who may be daddies, such as my own. My fa I know my father's in this place. And I know he's protecting me as well as the divine. But I want whoever comes, their ancestors, their spirit team, whoever to come. Their guides to come into this place as well as mine. I want to make sure that e no ego is involved in this because it's not about ego. Um, because it's the solstice and the way that I understand this, because I did watch Anna, I think from today on, we should have been working on ourselves, clearing out a lot of stuff, which I've been doing. But today, it's really been, it's been a lot coming out. I've been feeling a whole bunch of stuff, but I feel good. I'm not feeling tense. I do feel some warmthness um, in my heart and in my solar plexus area. And I'm releasing whatever that is. If somebody's coming to bring some dark energy, no. You get, keep, keep it moving. It's, you're not welcome here. Um, you're not allowed in my space. I haven't given you permission. And if I previously had given you permission and, and you're of the dark energy, I'm reneging on that. I'm taking that, that control away from you right now. Um, what else am I trying to say? I want you to encompass this space in a white light. I want you to protect it with a bright white light of protection. And I want you to extend it 20 feet. And then because our bodies are a vehicle for our souls, put another protective covering on and extend it another 20 feet. Uh, I'm serious about this because it's, it's, it's some foolishness and fuckery going on, going on. And I know it. I feel it. 
I always follow my intuition. I may not say anything, but I always follow it. So this is what's going on at this point. Um, like I said, I have already shuffled the cards, but I will do a brief shuffle and I will cut the deck. Um, look, they trying to already hold on, pull out, and I'm not, I'm not accepting any anything right now. Um, however, um, see here they go. They trying. It's like I said, it's a lot going on. I'm gonna pull one card for Divine Masculine. They trying to, they trying. Come on. Um, I want one card for Divine Masculine and one card for Divine Feminine. What is it we should be both releasing or whatever? Well, no, let me back up. What is it that we that's here that we need to release? What dark mirror should we be releasing? Because if it's in Divine Feminine, it's in Divine Masculine and, and, and vice. This card keeps trying to come out and I'm not taking it. Hiding your true self. And downcast pride. I'm not keeping them. I'm not keeping them. But if they come out when I'm ready for them, then you know that that's, that's what it is. It was, that's for somebody. That's a message for somebody. But I'm not taking it as the official card. So if you come into my channel, you need to worry about that. You need to look at that. Downcast pride and not being your true self. That's deep. Wow. I should have kept that one. Um, let's see if it comes back up. All right, let me cut. I'm gonna cut the deck. I have the window open. It's warm. I had the air on. I don't really like the air <laughs> per se. I prefer natural air. So you're gonna hear some traffic and stuff. So you have to, you know, bear with it. But anyway, let's keep it going. I'm asking now, um, what does Divine Masculine need to release? What energy does Divine Masculine need to release? Can I have a card for that? There it is. Envious and gluttony. So there are some Divine Masculines that are dealing with envy, envy, envious gluttony. Envious means that you want something that don't belong to you, but gluttony means you're greedy. You already got something, but you still want what somebody else has. And they don't look really happy. I mean, it's like they're in a trance. And they passionate about it because there's some red here. And they got like this uh, skull or jaw, jawbone on their head. Look like a crocodile or something. Like they were snapping things up. They getting snapped up. Because this is their it's blood coming off of this. Sorry about the glare. It's blood coming off of this. Wow. They look possessed. All right, that's a masculine. Um, what does divine feminine need to deal with? What does divine divine feminine need to look at? Per chance to dream, being scared. Her chance is like, you know, if I just, if I could just do it. But the thing about it is, oh, let me look at this. Okay, this is a good thing. It's a number nine. So your divine masculine is ending, ending this cycle. So he is doing the work. And it's funny for divine feminine. This is a 28, which is a 10. It's a two, which is um, making an, a decision. And the eight is looking at the, looking at it abundance so you're looking at how you can get this abundance but you were putting it off you've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off but it's like they on a deathbed deathbed and the body is it's the spirit that's a spirit wow 
and it's on the earthly plane these two squares this is the earthly plane and when it's like this it looks like a triangle almost so this is all masculine energy as well because you only see this spirit masculine and feminine you don't you don't really it's there but you don't it's kind of hidden but then it's like the moon look at the, it's like hidden under the moon cycle yeah somebody's not dreaming they're not they're not um they're afraid to dream let me put it that way okay and on the bottom artificial heart so they're both being fake divine masculines and divine feminines are being fake and um she looked like she giving the side eye. Like, yeah, oh, okay, I say that, but I really don't mean it. And, but it's showing out because she got blood coming out of her eyes, so, you know. Um, this is a, a one and a two. Is this a 12? I don't have a book. It looks like a two. So this is both of them one and two and together three with spirit yeah you need to work on that that artificial heart that's the overall thing uh, i'm gonna cut these gotta shake them shuffle them real quick i like these cards let's see what they say they're gonna have something to say i'm not taking those because i didn't cut Let's cut these now. All right, I'm gonna pull. Hmm. I'm gonna pull. Let's see how this is set up. I'll pull. I'll pull five and five. Five and five, and then I'll clarify, and then I'll pull something else. Can I have five for divine masculine, please? I'll tell you what they are after they after I have them on. One more for him. All right. Yeah, this is a different setup for me, but I, I'm going to make it work. Oh, don't fall. Uh, shoot. All right. So, Divine Masculine has the Emperor. The chariot, four of wands, six of pentacles, and knight of pentacles. Okay, this might not be a scary reading after all. We'll see. They, they, let's see. What, this, what do you have to say for divine feminine? Knight of swords. upside down page of swords in reverse six of cups two more ace of wands one, two, three, four, one more. Three of swords. Okay. And on the bottom, queen of swords. Fairness. So, with them both being fake um, and divine, divine masculine is envious. Oh, I forgot the, oh, let me see. Let's see if I can do it now. Do not disturb. Um, envious and gluttony. Um, divine masculine is in his sovereignty and his emperor mood. That you know, he's emperors can be very stubborn. They're all the kings, but he's kind of in a stubborn mood. 
And I think that's part of that is because he's being greedy and gluttonous. Very controlling. But uh, what they're trying, they're trying to move away from that. They're trying to move away, use it by the chariot. They're trying to move away from that energy because they're understanding that they want you they want unity. They want four of wands. They want unity not only with themselves but with their counterpart, with their who you know, their significant other, whoever their person may be. Um, so what they're doing, they're looking at how they're looking at their six of cups. They're look I mean pentacles, they're looking at their give and take. They're looking at um who they're giving to and who they're not giving to. Um, and in this in this picture, it looks really, um, it's kind of cute because it's, even though these little creatures is creepy, um, they're being affectionate with this dragon. Doesn't look like it, but they really are. It's like they're being generous, whereas they probably would have broke his neck or whatever, because these things are kind of devious. Um, but they're being, it's, this one's being nice. This one's being nice. And so he's thinking about being generous and and, and how he could be more um, of service to others. Not servitude, because this says servitude, but he's looking more how he can be more in service to others instead of being gluttonous. This is, this is what's suggested. Where's Divine Feminine? Oh, well, let me, because this is... Right now, um, he's being artificial. Before before this, he was being fake. By being in this emperor mood. Energy. He was being fake. And he's trying to change from that. That's what this solstice is going to help Divine Masculine do. Now, for Divine Feminine, she is looking at not taking a chance. Fear. You know, just, just dying and not doing anything and so what's happening right now she's trying to get out of it because she's trying to think and this is um she's trying to think of a way the uh knight of swords is she wants to come forward with the truth to see how she can get out of that energy how to get out of being fake how to get out of being phony so she's coming forward with that whereas in the past she was in reverse she was um she wasn't she she's not inspecting things now she's not inspecting she was she was inspecting but now this is the page of swords it's a young energy and she wasn't looking at things interesting let's look at that coming forward so that she can get get a better idea of things because before she was not looking at it and so she's going back into her childhood and her child, Six of Cups. Six of Cups. This little demon is just kind of like looking off. So maybe they're daydreaming. So Divine Feminine, you're daydreaming about this, about your childhood and your child, your memories. And, you know, doing this inner child work, doing this solstice is going to allow you to regain your passion regain your passion so you won't be saying well if I coulda woulda shoulda and faking the funk because that's what this means to me faking the funk you're going to regain your passion because before you're going to get out of this defeat you're going to get out of this defeat this is five of swords so you're and mentally mentally because you were if I coulda woulda shoulda all it was giving you was defeat and so you're trying to really clear your mind a lot of swords here it's interesting that divine feminine was dealing with a lot of mental mental things normally it's divine masculine divine masculine look like he's trying to get himself together to to move it on um because they both like i said they both are faking the funk both of them both of y'all um i'm going to clarify with the um the wild tarot I'm gonna cl I'm gonna clarify them both with this, and then I'm gonna pull some more with this um, hoodoo deck. Um, and it's funny because I didn't pull this deck out, but it looked like everybody's walking away from being overburdened. I didn't pull I wasn't pulling that deck out because I'm only dealing with dark energy. But that is 
that is, it looks like that's what's going on. They're walking away from whatever this negative what is because it's it's the solstice and like it's like I've been I'm not I'm still getting acquainted with it. We're releasing a lot. So it's a lot of releasing. Um, Divine Feminine mainly is, is releasing a lot of mental energy, whereas Divine Masculine has, two. he has some major arcana, so he's doing some heavy work, heavy work, heavy work. Uh, if you hear music, I'm sorry. It's Daddy's day, and I, you know, my son is a father, so I'm leaving him alone today. So you might hear some stuff. Okay, so for the Emperor, what can we say about the Emperor? Father of Cups, he's in his emotions, dark emotions. Like I said, this uh, this Emperor was very greedy and very gluttonous and beautiful. This, this swan is gorgeous, but it's the dark energy. That's the energy he was in. And that energy caused a lot of towers for him. And he's trying to change that. Okay, what about this chariot? Can I have one for the chariot? Yeah, it was a lot of um, holding back. He's moving away from holding back this pentacle. Because he's made a decision, or he's in, he's in the process of getting out of this out of this cycle of uh, holding back, and he's um, transforming. He's transforming, and because he's doing this, this will allow him to change. See, he's not that dark energy anymore. He's going to change into this beautiful swan. He's it's a young energy though. It's a young energy, but. I, you can see that his um, chakras are being activated by this transformation that's taking place. Four wands. Can I have one for the four of wands? Okay, there you go. I'll take it. This four of wands uh, will allow him, and once he gets in union with himself, he'll be able to, he's a young buck right here. This is a young buck. Young energy. He has some antlers, so he's been through some things. He's not grown, but um, he is um, moving slow. He is progressing slowly into adulthood, into manifesting uh, his pentacle. And there's this red moon back here. I, I think we had one of those, too. But it has it, it affects our pentacle. Yeah, he's working on it. He's working on this. He's working on it. He's um passionately working on it. These are wands. And he's working on it with the moon and the sun. He has both here. Oh no, that's just the moon. But he's healing under the light of the sun. And you can see some other colors here. So there are some shot pat this this is this uh this is his um his sacral and his um, base, you know. So he's working on getting out of being greedy and taking what don't belong to him. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. There's a couple came out. I'll take them. Yeah, he wants to be abundant. He wants to get into this Empress abundance because this uh, Six of Pentacles will uh, allow him to balance out his give and take to people. And so this is, he's transforming so he can have a brand new start on the earthly plane pentacle wise because um the behavior he was in before even though he was being greedy and and taking other people's stuff and envious it kept him in this energy of being sad and that looks like a big big red teardrop blood teardrop and it was hurting him sad and hurt 
clarify so he can, like I said, this is Six of Pentacles again. So this is clarifying the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, he's learning how to redistribute his abundance amongst people fairly and have enough for himself. And be happy. This is the Nine of Pentacles. I call that the selfish card. And not selfish in a bad way because he wants to be able to take care of himself first. And then still be able to take care of other people. Understand that. Today's Daddy's Day. That's what daddies do. You know, well, some daddies don't. Let's keep it moving. We ain't trying to bash daddies to death. Oh, I was going to take that. It closed up. It was the Five of Swords. It, it flipped back over. They don't want me to use that one. Okay. So, he's looking at how he can be more of service to people. And so right now, he's resting. It's the end of the day. I don't know what time it is, but it's the end of the day now. So, normally you see the four swords and um, one, one sword may be up underneath underneath this night or in the bed or somewhere separate but no he's he's putting them all right down because he's healing he's healing from all this mental stuff that he's been dealing with he's been dealing with a lot of stuff look at that on the bottom is the four cups because he's been you know he don't want to hold back his emotions and he almost looked like he wanted to push that one forward. He wants to push it because he's holding on to these. He's holding on to these because he wants to be able to celebrate with, you know, celebrate that he's gotten out of this negative, crazy energy of being greedy and envious. All right, for Divine Feminine, let's, um, let's see. Because she's, oh wow, okay. Um, scared. Scared per chance. Maybe, maybe if I, if I could have, would have, should have. Um, she's trying to get, mentally get herself together. So that she can take care of herself. She can take care of herself. She's trying to put herself first now. And so... There is a wish for this to happen. And what this wish would do is help activate her chakra system. Because those are the colors of the chakra system. And it will allow her to have clarity. Clarity of what her next move will be. Whereas before. Before. She was not clear. The sun of swords and the page is the same thing. That's really deep how that that and i wish i could well, I, i'll show you how it looks it looks like this they're not even they're not even facing one another he's going that way but well, they're right there so they're moving in a different direction because mentally mentally it was she was fighting herself and not only was she fighting herself there were others fighting her because it's two of them here and two of them here. They were fighting. She couldn't even sleep. Couldn't even sleep. And not in her truth. All right. So let's do one for the reverse page. Hierophant. Oh, Divine Masculine, you coming to help? Divine Masculine has come in because he has the key. He's already telling you what I got. And he's already, he knows there's been a lot of um, lightning strikes going on. So he's going to come. Your Divine Masculine is going to come. Because Divine Masculine, is, it looks like he, he's getting this up together. So he's coming to help you. Your Divine Masculine is your teacher. They will show you what you need to know. Because right now, mentally, Divine Feminine is going through it. I know this card is deep. You know, a lot of people don't like this deck because of this one. This card is, 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 is more than a... It's messy. It's decaying. Mental, mentally, mentally jacked up. Pretty much. 
but it's the truth. People don't like the truth. All right, let's see what the Six of Cups, Six of Cups, Two Cups, Three Cards fell out. I'm going to take them all. By going back into her memories and her child, she's doing the work now. She's understanding that she wasn't doing the work or, um, yeah, she wasn't doing the work because she was, if I could have, would have, she's going to go back and do her inner child work. This will allow her to understand what she needs to do passionately to get her back into that energy of this is what I need to do and these are the chakra systems that will be affected by it it's going to reignite her pat her passions and it will allow her to have a brand new start a brand new beginning she'll be on her full journey but before she does that she's going to go within she's going to go within you see the and and uh the red lights that's that red uh, power energy. He's going, she's going within to activate whatever it is that kept her in this if I could have, would have, should have energy. And by doing that, this will allow her to get back into being with her lover, you know, get back into of healing this relationship there's the sun and the passion as well and it's two of them two geese this will allow you to reactivate all of that okay and i'm saying it passionately because um once you go within you'll be able, you're going to regain energy the ace of wands should be able to regain energy and um can we trans have a card for that energy And I have one for that, please. Ace of Wands. There we go. She's going to passionately be able to look at with the, uh, this, these deep-rooted belief systems that had her mentally in her head that kept her stuck. This is Six of Cups. Six of Cups is going back in her childhood again. She's going back passionately be able to go back and look at all these look at all these rules look at all this she's going to be able to go all go in and look at all these belief systems she's going to be looking at all of that and she's going to be figuring out how she can get rid of it because it's been affecting her emotions she knows all these belief all these rooted deep rooted belief systems have affected her emotions look at that all these colors down here are these colors right here. Yep. So she'll be here, you know, this is her uh, basin, I uh, mean, uh, third eye, crown, solar plexus, passion, heart. I'm not, I can't look at them and talk to you at the same time. But yeah, it's going to activate all of that. All of that. And help her, help her not fake the funk. She'll understand why she was faking the funk when she goes, goes in and delves into these deep rooted belief systems that that have been plaguing her. Yeah, cause um, she's been feeling defeated by these belief systems that people have put on her. So that's what you should be clearing right now during this solstice. Okay, we got some more because. Once she learns how to deal with them, she'll be able to work towards her Ten of Cups, her fulfillment. She'll be able to look at all the things that are happening around her with clarity, whether, whether lightning strikes or not. And she'll be able to understand that these are just systems, um, cycles, excuse me, cycles that she's just been going through. Because of these deep rooted belief systems. And because she'll understand that, I like, this is one of my favorite cards. She'll be able to not only walk away from those cups, those deep rooted belief systems. Because those were cups put on her by somebody else. Oh, my nose is itching. But she'll be able to break them. Break them and leave them. I like this. One, two, three. Yep, she'll be able to break them. She'll be able to grab, gain her own cups. She'll be able to um, get her own cups. 
her own. She'd be able to walk away from these deep-rooted belief systems that have her feeling defeated. And by breaking those cups, she'll be able to um, regain her passions. This is considered the page of wands. Now, normally I call, and, the, and that other dead key is the pimp. That's the pimp card, because he have on a little jacket, and, you know, he got his little hat, and he's got his little feather, little pimp card. But this deck is a little different. It's a young, he, you know, she young, and, you know, she'd be able to snap, because, you know, snakes are very fast. But this will be a different energy, a different energy. She'll be able to passionately strike, at, you know, for the things that she wants, instead of saying... If I coulda, woulda, shoulda, I shoulda did this, I should, I coulda did this. She'd be able to do that and get out of faking the funk. Get, you know. So far, this is a good reading. These cards are being nice. They not acting, you know, crazy. I may, this may be, I may be, use this more often. Now, this deck, we don't know what this deck gonna do. This is the hoodoo deck and it's interesting. What's the message that you have for Divine Masculine? What is the message that you have for Divine Masculine? What's suggested? Oh, I'm not taking all of that. You crazy. Um, I only want a few. Can I have a few? Just a few. What is the message you have for him? Don't be mad at me because I put them cards back. I'm not taking all of those. Okay, I'll take this. All right. Divine Masculine is being advised to work on his abundance. Not only work on his abundance, watch the people around you too. You, you see she buy the, buy the coins, but she looking to see who's around. You know, if, a lot of people don't, you know, that everybody's not going to be happy for you when, you, you know, when you start going for yours. You got to be watchful. Because in the past, he had to hold on to, that's deep, wow. She watching, look at that, she watching, she's watching, she's by her coins, but he's holding the coins because he was holding back. He had to hold back because people were taking from him. Wow. Oh, man, that's deep. This... This is like a surveyor, um, you know, for people who don't know. Um, the, uh, I want to say it the right way, but the, but this reading is long already. But he, he knows how to work magic. This is used to work magic. Let me see. Uh, it's long, but it, you know, it is what it is. Four of coins. Come on. I, I don't know what that thing is called. That's why I'm looking it up. A dowsing rod. A dowsing rod. A man uses a dowsing rod to search for gold. He is using pine crosses, goose feathers, and brimstone as charms to aid him. Yeah, he working magic. Back in the day, you know, I know it's not um, Juneteenth anymore, but back in the day, white slave owners used to um, get men, the slaves, to do this to find money for them on their property. But anyway, let's get out of that. You know, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna work on your money, but you're gonna watch, watch out for other people. Because you had to hold back because people were trying to take your money. And um, you're going to go within. And Divine Masculine, this is Big Mama, the son. 
so he can heal. So big, he gonna have Big Mama, his ancestor Big Mama is gonna come in and and watch over him. And you know, when you think of Big Mama, you think about cake and cookies and you know big hats in the African. I don't know how they're doing in other communities, but in, in the African American community, this is what Sunday look like. But yeah, the sun. She's gonna come and bring some healing, helping you with that situation. Um, because he needs to make a decision. He needs to make a passionate decision to a sticks. All right, Divine Masculine, make sure you do it. Make sure you make the right decision. Don't go back to being gluttonous and greedy, envious. Don't go back to faking the funk. All right, for Divine Feminine, what's her message? What do you have to say? What do you have to say? What? Okay. I think this is the emperor. I want to make sure. These cards aren't in the right order as the regular deck. Yep, this is the emperor. You're going to have to learn how to put borders, create borders. You're going to have to be a little bit more strict around the people that you are around because apparently um, these deep-rooted belief systems are really ingrained and, and, and they've been doing a job on you. So you're going to have to learn how to do that. And um, yeah, I see a rifle here. You Don't shoot nobody. But you're going to have to guard, you're going to have to guard your yourself. He has his stick. You're going to have to guard yourself. And you're going to have to study. You're going to have to learn. You're going to have to learn some things. And he's he's actually looking at um, uh, the signs. Yeah, he's looking at the stars. That's pretty cool. Six of coins is six of um, pentacles. You're gonna look at your history and zodiac. You're gonna you're gonna be looking at it. I'm gonna pull a couple of more. What else does divine feminine need to understand? She needs to study and know about the um, systems. That might be for me because I I'm not you know that knowledge. I do know, but I'm not like I can pull this stuff out of my you know at the top of my head. By doing so, this is going to allow you to um, have a new, um, new abundance on this plane. Um, that means you're going to have, be able to create more wealth once you get more knowledge. The knowledge you get. And that knowledge is going to come from your inner child. Six of baskets. It's going to come from your inner child. I'll put one more. One more. Because I think I have four for him. Can I have one more? There it is. It flipped over. Oh, no, it was more than one. I'll take them. I said I would. Um, when you get this new beginning, you're going to be able to balance yourself out. And it's going to allow you to have some money. Because this was a uh, six of coins and six of basket. Um, Pentacles, coins, so, hmm, that's crazy. Ace of baskets, I want to know. This is sticks. I apologize. I really do. 
Baskets are emotions. Okay, had me nervous for a minute. And I, you know, emotionally, this will allow you to have a new emotional beginning with yourself first. And then, because you'll have that new emotional with emotional beginning, after getting rid of the belief systems and crushing the glasses, you'll be able to create your your own cups. You'll be you have to create your own cups. These baskets are cups. And doing that will allow you to have your pentacle. You'll be able to create that. And this is interesting because I know somebody talked about this before. These kind of cakes where they would put certain things in the cake and it would determine whether you're going to be rich, poor, and all this other kind of stuff. Um, it's kind of interesting, but I'm already at 45 minutes, so I'm not going to go into it. Wow. Passionately. You're going to have a new passionate beginning. It's going to allow you to start over. And it's going to keep you from this energy. <laughs> this person is waiting outside the church to cut somebody. Because somebody did something wrong to them. Uh, yeah. You're not going to You won't have to do this. Divine Feminine. Don't be cutting people. You ain't got to do that. Yep. Five of coins. Because you... In the past, they kept you out in the cold. That energy kept you out in the cold. Because... And you was faking the funk about it because you were not taking chances. You got to take the chances and quit faking the funk. As well as Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine needs to stop being greedy and envious and faking the funk about things as well. So I'm going to stop with this reading um, right now. and Because this, this was pretty good. I, you know, I wasn't sure what my little demon, my demon deck was going to do. I wasn't sure, but it, you know, they can stay out. We'd be all right. I'm hoping this reading work helps somebody here because it's a lot of inner, it's inner child here, you know, dealing with, with lack mentality. Both of you. Greediness. If you're greedy, that's because you feel you're not good enough. And if you ain't taking a chance, it feels you're not good enough. So you both faking the fun. I'm going to call this quit fake. Fake in the funk. That's what I'm going to call this reading. Alrighty. Until next time. Peace. Thank you for stopping by Healing Conversations with Z. I will speak to you shortly. I'm going to do another reading. And it won't be this dark energy stuff. Alright.